This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That NES controller can only mean one thing. We'll be playing the Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, today's episode of Memory Lane, we're going to be checking out this really weird, crazy Ninja Turtles 501 multi cart. Now, obviously, it has a lot more than just Ninja Turtles games. I mean, let's look at this for a second. This is a modern. Multi cart. It's red. It actually looks pretty cool. And uh, this, you can easily find on eBay or uh, AliExpress or wherever they sell some crazy pirated stuff that you're not supposed to have. It's obviously a pirated game. And uh, it's an unlicensed pirated cartridge. And the main attraction on this cartridge is the Ninja Turtles, as you can see right there. Now let's look at the uh, label art. Obviously it has Ninja Turtles on it. Well, let's uh, take a closer look here. Let's see if we can focus this camera. Okay, so right away you have the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the label. The label does have a little bit of something going on right there, which is normal for pirated multi-carts. Usually the labels don't last forever on these things and they usually uh, come off real easily uh, up here it says action series uh, super games 501 and it says this game pack cannot be used with the Mattel or NES version of the Nintendo Entertainment System wait a minute let's read that for a second let's uh, zoom in here and it says, I just want to read that carefully just to make sure I have that correct. It says, this game pack cannot be used with the Mattel or NES version of the Nintendo Entertainment System. What the hell does that even mean? It's, I mean, I have the NES down there. Like, I Okay, that's really confusing. All right, let's uh, go back here for a second. What other kind of weird stuff that they have on here? All right, so they have Snow Brothers, they have uh, Adventure Island, and they have RoboCop. They have a few other. Oh, well, let's no, let's keep this cartridge right here, so it doesn't go anywhere. So it's easier to see. Okay, let's see what they have up here on top. All right, so it looks like they have River City Ransom. They have a few other little things up there on top that they're trying to. You know, push the uh, the sale for the cartridge. You can see that the uh, the end label is not quite even with the top of the cartridge. The way they applied the sticker, they just slapped it on there. They didn't really care. And you see that it's not put on evenly, which is the reason why it's having that weird crease right there. And there's a pretty decent sized gap right here on this side. So, you know, it's your normal, typical bootleg crap that <laughs> normally you would see on a uh, pirated cartridge where you know look at this there's a huge gap over here and then all of a sudden you go down here and it's like pretty close to the edge where the stickers being laid out and uh, it's a red cartridge the cartridge itself looks pretty cool the actual red plastic uh, the label is not really that impressive and if you look real closely I'm gonna show you hey what's this if we can show you guys here, you can easily tell that the print quality on this special versus action series it's not the greatest. You can definitely tell that it's definitely a pretty crappy pirated looking label. Uh, nothing really fancy. Now these uh, multi carts were quite popular, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. They did. They were pretty scarce though, you couldn't really find them that easily. Normally if you found a multi-cart back then, uh, you had to pay good money for it. 
probably over fifty dollars, maybe a hundred dollars. Who knows? Uh, there was no ever tribes, or there was no nothing really, no ROM cartridges back then. So if you if you're able to come across an older multi cart back in the eighties and nineties, it was a luxury to have because you had tons of games on one cartridge, and uh, if you were lucky, you had a pretty decent amount of games that were good on one cartridge. Uh, that pretty much made your NES uh, library really, really fun. This is the only thing you need to do is pop one cartridge in and you just played the games. You can see there's Super Games 501. Now nowadays, you can easily find a lot of weird assortments of ROM cartridges that are more modern. Like This is a newer one right here. Uh, I will be showing off some older ones, in fact. Uh, this new one probably contains a lot of weird stuff, so immediately things that you're going to notice on a, uh, a multi-cart are, number one, obviously pirated games, number two, strange ROM hacks, and number three, uh, some bootleg, unlicensed uh, homebrew games that like probably never even heard of, like strange, really strange stuff. Now... Obviously, the main attraction on this cartridge is the Ninja Turtles, so we're definitely going to be keeping an eye out to make sure that the Turtles games are on the cartridge. We 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 owned all three of the Turtles games right here, so we're not doing anything really too crazy right there. So, well, make sure you guys are aware of that. I own way over 100 NES cartridges, and I just bought this pretty much for fun. So I like to explore. The unknown, and you never know what you're going to find on these cartridges. So let's uh, head over to the uh, NES and let's play this really weird 501 Ninja Turtles Super Game Multi Cart. All right, let's try out this uh, multi cart, and uh, right away. This is our 501 Ninja Turtle multi cart. And uh, right away at the very top, you have uh, four Ninja Turtle games. I mean, it's assuming that these Ninja Turtle games are probably the same ones that we have, like right here. The first Ninja Turtles game. So well, let's, let's look at it for a second. What the hell is that? <laughs> Well, it definitely looks like a Turtles game, but it looks like it's uh, from the Asian region. So you never know what you're going to find on these multi-carts. There's always some weird stuff here. Let's uh, go into the game for a second. Okay, so this definitely is the uh, first Ninja Turtles game. And there definitely appears to be some sort of weird screen effect here. Now let's go back up here for a second. I mean, look at that. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on on the uh, recording, but on the actual TV, you can see some weird wavy looking effect. That is really strange. I never saw that on the American one before. So this is definitely a strange version of this game. Let's uh, go back into the list here. What's uh, what's Ninja Turtles Part Two? Let's look at this for a second. So this is probably definitely the second Turtles game, the arcade game. Okay, so there's nothing really different about this. So on these multi carts, you will find regular NES games that are pirated, uh, and you also find some really weird like ROM hacks or some strange things that you probably never would even imagine finding. So, seemingly, the uh, Turtles 3 is probably going to be the Manhattan Project. I mean, it's got to be Manhattan Project. Let's find out. So, it looks like the uh, regular yep, Manhattan Project, as you can see here. It's definitely my one of my favorite all-time Turtles games right here. It's like the coolest introduction. Look at that. What a great game that is. Uh, okay, so... There's also a Ninja Turtles 4. What the hell is this? Now, this is something I, I never actually uh, seen before. Whatever this may be. Oh, it's Tournament Fighters. Okay. Like, I forgot that was actually on the NES. 
So there's tournament fighters. And uh, there is several different Contras here. Uh, let's look at this real quick. Contra 1. What the hell is that? It's like a multi-cart in a multi-cart. What the hell is that? That's weird. I have never seen that before. Okay, that is really, really interesting. So, let's look at this for a second. It's like regular normal Contra, I guess. I never thought I would see a multi-cart in a multi-cart. That's really weird. So you can see here, this is like normal Contra. Nothing fancy here. Alright, let's go back to that for a second. There's a multi-cart and a multi-cart. This is definitely a weird surprise. What is this Contra 30P right here? What is this? Alright, so we have our Contra title screen. So what's different about this here? I'm assuming that there's probably something different about this, but I don't know what it is, to be honest. So let's go back out for a second. Let's go back into that again. I find, I find this stuff to be, like, really, really intriguing. Okay, so... I'm guessing these are different ROM hacks for Contra. What, what is this? Contra 2. Okay, we still got Contra 1 right here. Oh, so wait a minute. It's Contra 2, Contra... Th oh. Let's go back there for a second. Is this like different stages? So if I go to like 8 right here, will send me to the world 8? Or stage 8? Let's, let's see here. Stage 8, okay. That's pretty cool. So you can go and you can play whatever stage you want. That's actually really cool. You know, back in the day, before there was, like, EverDrives and uh, all these emulator ROM carts, uh, you had to rely on multi-carts, and there was quite a few different multi-carts that existed a long time ago, but they were pretty hard to come by, and they went for a lot of money. So, uh, you know, we, we had to, back in the day, back in the 80s and 90s, you had to rely on a multi-cart to get... Like a complete, huge collection of games as what you see right here. What is Contra 2? Let's, let's see what this is. Wow, look at that. That is crazy. So I'm assuming that this is probably Super C. And uh, what is this? Area 7, okay. So this is definitely Super C Contra. I mean, look at the cool graphics on Super C. I, I was always a fan of this game. This game is pretty cool. Alright, so let's... There's also a Contra three and six and seven. What what the hell is this? Let's find out. Contra Force, okay. I've heard of that. Now Contra Force I never really played before. I've heard of it, but I never really played it. I mean, look at this. You can go through and pull up all kinds of stuff. Definitely seems a little different than your normal Contra game, but it plays kind of kind of the same. It doesn't seem as fast paced. Seems like it does have like some slowdowns. Let's not spend too much time on one game. What's uh what's Contra Six? Remember, there's like 500 games here. So what is this? Contra Six. You got Neo City 1992. All right, let's play some Contra Six. You have Rambo, you have Guile from Street Fighter, Re are you and uh, Bill? It looks like you have your traditional looking Contra characters here, they're not 
quite the same looking. It looks like Contra Force. Do you see there? It looks like you have uh Pretty interesting. You have seven and eight. What what's Contra eight? Let's just skip seven. Let's go straight to eight. Super Contra eight. Look at that. Look at that crazy title screen right there. This is in, this is crazy. Look at this. What is this? This definitely looks like a. Uh, they're using Super C characters. The music is horrible. It's probably some sort of ROM hack to a game. I don't know what game it is to be honest, but they took like Super C Contra characters and they threw it into that game. So you can see there's like other. Games here like uh, Jackal, Cage. What is Cage? What is this? Nasumi. Okay, so this is gonna be some sort of game right here. I, I've never played it before. You definitely gotta look at it real quick. You know, it looks like your ninja, ninja Gaiden type of thing right here. Oh my god! Look at this. It looks pretty cool actually. Never played this before. What the hell is this? I never played this before. See, when you play a multi cart like this, you just never know what you're gonna find. That looks actually pretty cool. And there's like three different Tiny Toon games here, three different Ninja Gaidens. There's multiple Double Dragon games. What's, what the hell is Double Dragon for? What is this? That is not Double Dragon, I know that sound. That's actually, um... What the hell is that game? Power Blade, or whatever the hell it's called. I believe it's called Power Blade. No, no, actually, no, it's not. Project Renegade. That's Project Renegade. I had that game back in the day, and I, I loved the music in it. So apparently they ROM hacked this. Power Renegade game, Project Renegade, whatever the hell it's called, I think it's Project Renegade, and they put Double Dragon characters in it, and man, you hear the music, the music's really good. This was a very, very underrated beat-em-up game on the NES, and I loved the music on this game, this game was pretty cool. Let's uh, look at a few other games here before I get overly attached to one game. What, what the hell is Robocop 4? What is this? Robocop 4. Okay, so we're going to be playing some Robocop 4, whatever the hell that is. Let's, let's check it out. Robocop. There you have Robocop 4, and it looks like your normal Robocop camera right here. Alright, let's uh, continue on. Uh, let's see, you got, you got Street Fighter. There's no way that they have Street Fighter on here. Okay, let's look at this for a second. <laughs> they actually have a Street Fighter game on here? Come on. On the NES? Get out of here. Let's see how this looks. This is going to be crazy. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. So now, oh, you can know how to get on my own. Is this even playable? I mean, there is definitely some way of playing it. Obviously, the computer's beating the crap out of me, but that's really interesting. Kickmaster, uh, let's see, Street, Street Fighter. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different. 
Did I just like see uh, Mortal Kombat 4? What the hell? What the hell? I didn't know Mortal Kombat 4 was on the NES. What the hell is this? That's a lot of selectable characters and they repeat. Wait, how many Lucanes are there? There's one here. There's uh, another Lucane right here. There's another Lucane right here. There's like three different Lucanes. You can see that the the picture is kind of bugging out here. I wonder if we could do a bicycle kick. Let's find out. Oh my god. It's beating the shit out of me. Oh my god. Okay, this is definitely, uh... It's interesting, but you can't really pull the moves off. That is weird. Mortal Kombat 4 on the uh, NES. Obviously some sort of bootleg... Uh, crazy homebrew game that somebody made. And that's that's the really, really cool part of having like these weird multi-carts. You never know what you're going to find. So you have Power Blade Part 1 right there. That's a really cool game. Uh, let's see here. There's a lot of stuff on here. Like, Look at all the weird Mario games here. Mario 10, Mario 12, Mario 14. What is this? What's Mario 10? What the hell is that? That's the weirdest Mario game I've ever seen in my life. It's Kung Fu Mario. I mean, what the hell? I've actually did a video on this. Uh, probably... When I first got this multi-cart sometime last year, I think, I did a video on this. And uh, it's just a weird Mario game. It's obviously a ROM hack to some sort of, sort of Famicom game or something like that. I don't know what the hell the name of the game is, but it's some sort of... Definitely a ROM hack. Strange. Very strange. Okay, let's, uh... What is, what is Mario 12? What is this? Alright, so this appears to be, uh... Yeah, I've seen this before. Is this called, like, Yoshi's Cookie or something like that? So that definitely appears to be, like, a pirated Mario game right there. What's, uh, what is Mario 14? See, they don't really label the actual games. With the actual titles, because they don't want to get in trouble. So here we are playing Mario 14, and he has like a a, a battle stick. He's gonna beat the shit. So look, look at this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this. Oh, there's a oh, that's crazy. This is some sort of ROM hack to something, but I, I, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Alright, so it's a uh, Hot Blooded Wrestle. Now, I'm a fan of wrestling games. I've never heard of a wrestling game called Hot Blooded Hot Blood Wrestle. What is this? It's a pirated wrestling game or some sort of homebrew wrestling game? What is this? What the hell is this? I've never seen this before. It's definitely uh, in Japanese, I believe. Look at this. Alright, I guess we can pick our uh, our wrestler. And we should just pick a random wrestler over here. Let's pick this one. Alright, all right, how do we play this game? Let's go. Alright, here we are. Playing this right here. It looks like some sort of beating, beating. Oh my god, what is this? 
It's like a street fighting game. I mean, it has like the uh, same graphics from like those crazy dodgeball games on the NES and uh, River City Ransom. This is actually pretty cool. I never even. I don't know what this is, but it's actually pretty cool. So it's literally like some sort of uh, fighting game right there that is really interesting. Alright, let's uh, keep going. Let's find out what other kind of weird stuff we can find here. Donkey Kong, Excite by Galga. Let's see if we can run into something really weird. Mappy, Mario Brothers, Muscle, Chaos. Got more Ninja Turtle things right here. They could probably it's probably the same. What is this? Okay, it's not a Ninja, Ninja Turtles game. Apparently, it's something else. I don't know what the hell this is. Occasionally on multi carts, you'll find the same game repeated a couple of times, especially on a large multi cart like this. Let's go. Let's go back here for a second. Let's go to the five hundreds. So you have like uh, some weird stuff here. Let's see, City Connection, that's a normal game. Metal Fighters. Lima Shin something, I never heard of that. What, what is this? What the hell is this? It's another Mario game. That is gotta be the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's like some sort of slap machine type thing going on here. What is this? We got, we got Mario, oh my god. He's jumping like crazy. Alright, so, uh... How, how do you play this? Like... That's actually pretty cool. When you hit the buttons on the controller, you get like a little bit of a musical thing going on here. I don't know how to play that game, but it, it appears to be some sort of slot machine type thing. Pan Pan Valley. Okay, so there's a lot of weird stuff here. King Knight, Karate Champ, Aladdin Three. You know that definitely sounds like something that. Let's look at it. There's no title screen. It just jumps right into the game. How about that? It's not a, a Disney Aladdin game. It, it appears to be some sort of. Shoot them up. The graphics actually look pretty good. I don't know if this is a ROM hack to something or not. But I must say, it actually looks pretty good. It almost looks like something that came from Super Mario 2, kinda. Oh, oh, I fell off my magic, my my magic rug. Got bees and got these other little looking guys right here. There's no scoreboard. As far as I can see. Is this is uh, interesting. What's this? Uh, Sapari? Oos. What is this? It's a sumo wrestling game. Okay. I have never played this. I played a sumo wrestling game on the Genesis, but I've never seen this before. Here we have a sumo wrestling game. And it looks like we're gonna have a showdown. And there's the uh, what the hell is that? It's the referee's a rabbit. Get out of here! Oh, oh, we are hitting each other in the face. Oh my god! Oh, he threw him off onto the crowd. Somebody died. What the hell is that? Alright, so that was that was crazy. Friday the thirteenth. Let's see if this is actually the real thing here. Definitely a classic North American NES game right here. Yeah, that's definitely it. I can tell by the music. Alright, let's see what other kind of weird stuff we have here. Okay, so... It's a game called I Can Remember. What? 
Never heard of that before. What is this? Well, apparently it looks like it might be a real game. A Fisher Price game. Out of all games to include on, on a multi cart, who the hell would want to play this? Some sort of Fisher Price game. That's interesting. So you get like a, a ton of games on here. This a mysterious, crazy assortment of games. You get Cubird right here. Which I actually just, just bought a physical copy of Cubird. On the, uh, the NES. I actually owned the Atari one for quite a long time. And just looking through this, there's just like tons and tons of stuff here. Alright, let's uh... Solomon's Key, that's a pretty cool game. 634 Ken. What is that? What is this? Okay, there's a, like a little dog right there. This looks like a, some sort of Famicom game that never re released in the US. Which is pretty cool. So you get your fair share of assortments of weird Famicom games. Now this right here is definitely uh, strange. Oh, 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 look at that. Alright, let's go in the other direction right here. Let's uh, head over here in this direction. We got Mario, we got all kinds of weird stuff going on. We got Bomb Sweepers, Brush Roller, Burger Time. Got all these Donkey Kong games right here. Joust. Uh, I just want to find some of the weirdest stuff that you can find on here. Like, what is this? Yi R Kung Fu. Stuff like that, I gravitate to. Like, I don't know what that is. I'm going to click on it. Now, let, let's find out what it is. Definitely have some weird stuff. Oh, oh! Oh! Some sort of Kung Fu game. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god. Looks like there's some, definitely some crazy stuff going on here. Not the greatest, but it is, it's definitely a pretty entertaining game. Let's, let's see what else we have here. Alright, we got Pac Man. We got a. Uh, all kinds of weird stuff here. Let's see here. Sudoku. Okay, there's a one called Awful Rushing. What is this? Awful Rushing. I had never heard of this before. Let's find out what this is. And oh my god. Why are those things in the road? I never understood that. Get out of my way! So we have to like dodge these objects right here. You know, holy crap. Oh, I crashed into that thing. That's. Alright, let's, let's uh, head towards the center of the list right here. And there's a legitimate 500 games on this cartridge. You can see right here. And they're not all actual real NES games. Some of them are like uh, some crazy ROM hacks and stuff that you would never actually normally see. Uh, let's just give you an example here. Let's see if we can find something weird. And we're heading towards the end of the list here. This is a. Uh, Really, really crazy. Like Bingo 75, that's definitely something that sounds kind of bootleg-ish. Hello Kitty, but instead of spelling it K-I-T-T-Y, they spell it K-I-D-Y. This might be a bootleg game, who knows. Oh, this looks like a real Hello Kitty game. That's actually some pretty nice looking graphics right there.
I don't know what's going on. They get the the computer's actually playing itself right here. We got stage one, and there I am, the Hello Kitty character. It's definitely something that came out in Japan, not not meant to be over here in the U.S. All right, so bar games. What the hell is bar games? What is this? Okay, so it's like a slot machine type deal. It's something you would normally see on a bar. And uh, that is pretty much it. I mean, this the main attraction are the Ninja Turtles on this game. But you can see there's, there's tons of weird stuff on here. There's tons of weird stuff on here. Like this right here, Toy Factory. I don't know what this is. but Some sort of... Strange game that you find on here that you normally don't find. But that is 501 multi cart, a pirated multi cart that the main attraction is the Ninja Turtles, as you can see right there at the bottom of the screen. And it has all the Turtles games as promised. The first Turtles, Turtles game is actually like a, a Japanese version of the game, I believe, and it kind of freaks out on the, uh, the TV for some reason. And, um, there's a few games that actually do that. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, this actually lives up to its promise. It's actually pretty interesting. And it has a lot of weird, um, ROM hacks. Like, this more than likely is a ROM hack right here, I get my bet. I mean, look at that. It's a Chips and Dales game, and I don't remember ever seeing this. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> 